Welcome, guys. Welcome to Sci-Fi Guy. And we're talking getting older, aging. Everybody does it, though most, or I'd say everyone doesn't really like it. Do you? Well, Hollywood doesn't like it. And so now for several years, we're getting the de-aging, the digital de-aging, the DDA, digital de-aging. And I didn't like it. I never did really. I guess perhaps, what was it, in one of the Iron Man movies? Was it the second one? Um, they they, they de-aged Robert Downey Jr. That looked pretty good. Everything else, didn't like. And I'm looking at a Variety.com um, article here. Attention, Hollywood. De-aging isn't working, so please stop using it. Subtitle, the jarring technology has yet to catch up with the industry's ambitious vision of using only one actor regardless of age. So these days, uh, the de-aging is most prominent in an upcoming film, of course, that is Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. So the Variety article talks about it, and here's a couple nice tidbits. Here's a fun fact that Hollywood actors hate to admit people get older. In a reaction to the natural progression of life, Hollywood has engaged in de-aging effects for older actors to play younger versions of their characters. In films such as The Irishman with Robert De Niro, Samuel L. Jackson in Captain Marvel, and most now recently, Harrison Ford in Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Now, the movie hasn't even come out yet, granted. My buddy Eddie and I, Eddie Steak and I, we love to decipher, decode, and discuss uh, such uh, upcoming stuff, and we have been talking Dial of Destiny. We agree, and I think most people who have seen the clips, the trailers, the photos, that Harrison Ford, we love him as as Indy, but we don't love this de-aging, or it just doesn't look great or even good. It looks like a bit of a video game. It looks like a Harrison Ford Indiana Jones video game, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but in a video game, not in a film. So, you know, again, the movie has not come out yet. Coming out next month, I'm still excited. Uh, I know there's been some bad reviews. There have been some good reviews. These are early test screenings or such. But let's all take, um, you know, a look and see the final product. That said, and all these other big Hollywood features, pretty much, it doesn't work. Or this de-aging just doesn't look great. And here's my sort of big beef. And I wrote an article several years ago. The idea of preventing young stars, or or rather young actors, from becoming stars. And the one that comes, you know, quickly to mind, of course, is Robert De Niro in The Godfather 2. So, you know, Eddie and I were talking, and it's like, I guess if it was today, they would have taken Marlon Brando, given him another paycheck, and had him do his Don Corleone um, in Godfather 2 and just de-aged him. Now, I don't think Francis Ford Coppola, I don't think Francis would stand by and I don't think he'd love it and like it and and probably he'd, he'd bitch and try to overrule them, but the fact remains that I guess they figure that no one wants to accept this, these younger, you know, no-name or little-known actors, but how are they going to get the breaks? There's the, what is it, I think his name is Jeff Eastman in Superman, who went on to, you know, a couple roles. He certainly might not have had a great career, but he had a career because he played Clark Kent in the first, you know, Superman, the movie. And again, de-aging wasn't around. If it was, I guess they would have just, you know, well, in this case, uh, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, Christopher Reeve was not, you know, was not that old, but still, could he play himself as a a 16, 17-year-old? So there you go, my friends. I'm not into it. I certainly think it has a place, maybe for a really quick scene, maybe for, uh, you know, a couple shots, uh, uh, you know, a very minor bit of a film, perhaps, just to get that older actor to be believed. But to have, you know, uh, many flashbacks, which I think Dial of Destiny is going to offer, to have many, you know, scenes of an older actor like Harrison Ford, bless him, but... You know, are we really going to believe he's like in his 30s or even 40s? Don't think so. We still have to check it out. Go watch Dial Destiny. I know I'm going to uh, subscribe if you have not. It's quick, painless, and free. And go watch Dial Destiny and make your own minds up.
We'll see you soon. Bye.